Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and finally I'm happy to be able to give you the review and demo of the Mixbax EQ by Nocturne Audio. As you know this EQ was built for me basically. It has all the features I wanted in a mastering and two bus EQ. I couldn't find one that fit what I wanted despite many great EQs out there and so Nocturne Audio built this for me. I know very little about components and tech. My help in designing it was limited to me asking, I wanted to do this and that, and have this and that. So no compromises, components and built, and this unit came out great. I've already mixed a handful of songs with it and I'm really happy with it. It's all I wanted and more. In use, it's even better than I expected. You will find all the tech specs in the info box down below. What I'm gonna show you here is its features and how it sounds. First of all, each and every knob you see on the panel, 18 in total, are stepped. So perfect recall, easy left and right matching, this is a precision equalizer. It's a stereo dual mono unit, let's take a look at the front panel and functions. First in line is an input pad. It lowers the signal going into the EQ by 60B. Why I needed this? Because the EQ usually sits at the end of my two bus chain, after either the two bus compressor or the Neves, depending on how I route them for any given mix. And sometimes I like to hit them hard for the sound. And if when I come out from the two bus, the level is too hot, especially if I want to boost with EQ, with this input pad, I can lower the level going in from the EQ itself instead of having to lower the output of the piece that comes before it. Because like I said, if I run it hot is for sound purposes. To compensate for either the input pad or to level match if you boost or cut with EQ, I asked for an output trim here at the end of the front panel. Again, stepped control goes from minus 5 dB to plus 5 dB in 1 dB steps, with a zero position for unity, of course. Then we have the filters, high pass here, low pass up there. I swear these are among the smoothest sounding filters I've ever heard. The whole EQ is smooth, but these can really be stealth level smooth. They just clean up nicely without creating artifacts, perfect for mastering and two bus EQ. HPF has six positions, off, which is a hard bypass, 23, 27, 35, 40, 49 hertz. And the LPF, for me, one of the most useful knob for computer-based music, you wouldn't believe it, has off position, bypass, 24, 20, 17, 14, and 12K. The unit is basically a big band Excel EQ with additional band, filters, and features. So now let's take a look at the band Excel section. We have the low frequency section and the high frequency section. For both, we have the frequency knob and level knob. These are really wide and smooth band Excel filters, and they sound beautiful. Corner frequencies for lows are 20, 30, 60, 85, 120, and 150. And I know what you're wondering. Can I do the pull tech trick by using the HPF and the shelf? Yes, yes you can. And I'll even show you the graph using Waves Q clone in a minute. You'll see. Corner frequencies for high band are 1K, 2.5, 6K, 12K, 20K, and yes, air band at 24K. Then we have the additional band, what we call mid voicing. This really sets this EQ apart from other EQs like this. This mid band is the money. Corner frequencies are 250. Cut this if your mix is muddy. Boost it if you want warmth. Yes, warmth. You can't even imagine. Before getting the EQ, I thought this 250 frequency I'll always use for cutting. I couldn't have been more off with that. Boosting just 1 or 2 dB here gives mixes such a dense, big sound, it's silly. Anyway, mid-voicing frequencies, 250, 500, 1.5, 3K, 6K, and 10K. You see, the 3 and 6K can, depending on the mix, really help you with either open up the mix or removing those harsh areas that are very common in today's mixes. Wide, very gentle bell. This is literally a voice shaping tool. You can, just with this knob, get closer to whatever is your reference mix, just by working few dBs with this mid voicing section. And now what I think is one of the very best features this EQ has, gain and gain ranges. As you can see, each and every section has this mix mastering switch. This switch is the gain range. 
see all three gain knobs for low, mid and heights have their independent gain range. In mastering mode, the gain knob goes from minus 5 dB to plus 5 dB in 1 dB steps. And if you're thinking 1 dB is too much for mastering, you have no idea how smooth and wide and natural sounding these filters are. This EQ can be more transparent at 1 dB than most EQ at half dB. When you switch to mix mode, the steps change and they go from 5 to 12 and they are proportional not a one or two dB steps. The gain is so musical in this mode, it's crazy. One thing that nobody saw coming when designing this EQ was how useful this gain range switch is, not only for obvious versatility reasons, but I found myself putting whatever band, especially the mid, in mix mode to find quickly and easily what's the best frequency is. So I have a bigger change when I move the gain. And once I found the frequency, I just switch back to master mode to reduce whatever cut or boost I'm doing in half. You have to use it to understand how useful this feature turned out for this purpose. But believe me, it is. But anyway, the great thing is that this gain range is independent for each section. As you can see, we have three of them. So you can have, let's say, the low and high in master mode, mid in mix mode, and any combination you need. I don't know any other EQ that can do this. Global gain range, yes. Independent for each band, I don't know any other EQ that can do that. And this is pretty awesome. I specifically requested this feature and it turned out great. It was just what I wanted. Last but not least, this is at the core, a very transparent, wide and gentle equalizer with a super clean signal path. But we all love some color, don't we? So we put two big ass transformers in the output. And of course you can bypass them or activate them with the flick of this switch here that says clean or iron. And I know you're gonna like this. You can use the transformers independently from the EQ. Meaning if we bypass the EQ by pushing these two bypass buttons here, and this is a hard bypass for every section of the equalizer. If you have the transformer switch in the iron position, the signal still gets colored, even if the EQ is bypassed. So you can use the whole thing as a color box. If you want to bypass everything, then you hit bypass and put this on clean. And the last, it's the power switch, and that's it for the front panel and the function. Now let's hear this thing in action, shall we? Disclaimer, this is a precision EQ. YouTube audio will not do it justice, but still, let's hear the thing in action.
All at once you are alone. Ooh, like a tiger in a cage. Ooh, and everything you do is good for nothing. Ooh, it seems everything's working against you. Ooh, oh, but keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Breathe, breathe the world and find a way. Breathe, searching reasons, play your game and never. Never give up. It seems everything's working against you. Ooh, oh, oh. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Breathe, breathe the world and find a way. Breathe. And that's a wrap. This is it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to click the like button. If you're interested in buying one of the nine units available, contact Nocturne Audio, link in the info box down below. And no, I don't get any commission. I don't get paid. I don't get any money. I paid for my EQ and I'm just happy if the guys at Nocturne Audio can sell some just because they put so much effort in making this great EQ my EQ and to make sure I was happy with it. So I'm just returning the favor. Join us on Facebook and Twitter to stay in touch with us and get all the news about the channel, upcoming videos and series, and access to exclusive content. Please keep supporting Mixbus TV by sharing the videos and spreading the word on blogs, forums, social media. Subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time.